I have. I have the second half of those classic wax. This time we're opening up baseball. Hockey got one to draw, so I opened hockey first, and I was actually quite pleased with the hockey one. So now we got the baseball one. So first off, I'd like to thank Joe Mapes, one of my subscribers, for showing this to me. I bought the box. I bought the baseball. I bought the hockey. I went back online to get a second set, and the baseballs are all sold out. So I don't know if I'll wait a little bit. Or I might get another hockey one. Let me know your thoughts. I can't get the baseball, but, you know, I can get another hockey. If you want to see the other hockey opening, let me know, and I'll buy another box. Because I had fun with that. And I'm going to have fun with this one. Let's see what this is all about. Classic Wax. It's a Repax Wax type of program. You know, it's anything from 50s to today. Now, with the hockey one, they were all 70s and newer. So... It'll be interesting to see what this is, if we're going to get all 70s newer, or if we're going to get some 60s and 50s. We're going to put it into the test. We're going to open this up, have fun with it like we always do on my channel. You know I love opening this stuff. You love watching it. So let's not waste any more time. Let's break into this bad boy here. And I know it's right there where they seal it up. And I will try to go fast because I know the hockey one kind of dragged. So we're going to only look for the good players and all that. We'll highlight some of the stuff. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Did I break that? Was that a clean break? No, of course it's not a clean break because it's me opening it. That's why. There we go. That should be clean now. There we go. There it is. There's all the waxy repacks goodness. So I'm going to set that right there, as you know. I'm going to open it up. And like I said, these wrappers are thick, so that's for sure. And there's a sticker or card that protects the wax. And here we go. We're going to start it out with Bo. Bo, Bo knows. knows baseball. That's the latest career of the Angels. So. Bo knows football. There he is. 1995. Upper deck Bo with the California Angels. Two numbers on the Angels. It's getting towards Bo late in his tennis. career, that's for sure. But Bo knows. So. Bo knows coming. Rick Dempsey, so there we go. There's a 79 Bob Forsh, uh, St. Louis Cardinals. We'll take that. It's a good start. 83 and Roger Clemens. So at least the stars from 1980 or 1995 are at least stars. So there's Roger Clemens, the Rocket. I'm gonna get a home run champion, Larry Dobby. I have no clue. 1985, so that's an interesting card. We'll look at the price on that one. Probably not worth much, but we'll look it up. Up next, got 1980, Matt Cole on the Oakland A's. That's going to be 1980 tops. I'm going to assume that these are all going to be tops. So there's some good card signing. Hey, that's not a bad hit right there. Start off with a 1978 George Brett. And unfortunately, it is not in the best condition, so that's too bad. I know I have a better one of this, so I'll probably go to one of my lucky list watchers here and uh, eventually give that away. So that's our first semi hit. Uh, too bad it's in rough shape. 1978 George Brett. Oh, uh, there's a Jack Clark. That almost looks like it's on a yep traded card. Yeah, it just felt like that way. Oh, those Icky Studios. Uh, Oh, here we go. Kind of sticking, as always, because you get some older cards, the newer cards. And we're going to end up here with a Paul Molitor. So, 1981 Dunruss, Paul Molitor. That was in a decent shape. It's just off-centered. That's too bad. So, there's the back. Oh, very nice. We'll take Paul Molitor. Oh, the Milwaukee Brewers. So, eh, not a bad start. Just wish that Brett was a little bit better condition. That's all. Uh, here we go. And these things do stick just like the hockey ones. Oh, uh, here we go. Oh, uh, there's an 85 leaf. So there are some Canadian ones in here. So Al Oliver. Oh, the Philadelphia Phillies. And there's a Wade Boggs opening day from 1987. So that's not a bad card to get. A rookie performer. And we got 1979 of Lou Garrett. So that's a good card to get. Oh, there's the back. Definitely. Oh, that's 76, actually. So 76 of Lou Garrett. Oh, very nice. It looks like it's in decent shape. Oh, yeah, just looking off camera here. 
Yeah, that's a little dinged, but what are you going to do? Oh, hey, there's Carlton Fist, those team leaders from 1992, Fleer. So that's nice. I'll show the price on that one. Oh. Oh, next we got 1975 of Jim Spencer. So very nice. That 75 is actually in good shape. Oh, uh, the corner's a little dinged, but what are you going to do? There's the back, 1975. Oh, we will take that. Oh, I got Birds of Alamar. Oh, they're just sticky. Hey, that's the only bad thing there. Rusty Stob. Up next, we got 1980 Don Dan Spilner of the Cleveland Indians. Man, we're going to get a 1977 Jim Slayton. I swear, I get so many Jim Slayton cards. I think I'll see if I get him signed. Get a bunch of him from 77. So, see if we get Jim Slayton signed. I don't know. I'll check it. Look him up. Oh, Rays. Oh, Cabrera ends it up. No. Oh, so far, again, it's kind of going to the theme of hockey here. A lot of stuff from the 70s. Oh, Ken Herbeck, 1985 tops. Carl Yaskremski, 1983 flair. Very nice. The Yaz man. Come on. You got to love that. Oh, man, he has. Have not gotten many of him lately, so it's kind of nice to get. Even when I thought 83 Fleer, Aaron Judge. Oh, picking up Aaron there. Cecil Cooper on 83. Larry Hessel from the Milwaukee Brewers out of 1980 tops. We'll take that. Oh, uh, we got Bergman there on those fire cards. Hey, there's our first hit. There we go. We're getting a 1959 Ruben Amaro. All the Philadelphia Phillies, and it's not a bad shape. It's average, 178. Oh, we will take that all day long. I'll oh, put him aside there. Gets the Ruben love. There's 84 Dunruss. Love 84 Dunrusses. There's Dave Concepcion from 1978 from the Cincinnati Reds. That one's in decent shape. We'll take that. And... And it up with a down please act from the Milwaukee Brewers. Get a lot of Brewers cards, so I know a couple of you are Brewers fans, so you're probably digging that. Get a lot of Brewers, that's for sure. Oh. There we go. Why is always sticking there? Oh, those icky 91 studios, but at least it's Cecil Fielder, so you gotta love that. First Tigers, and it's Cecil. Uh, up next, we got 1978 Ron Pruitt from the Cleveland Indians. Man, that looks like it's in good shape, so we will take that. Uh, yeah, very nice. 1977 record break. Oh, Nolan Ryan. Oh, very nice. Yeah, it looks like it is in good shape. All centered, though. But, hey, if you need that card... You will add it, that's for sure. So, there's the goose. Up next, got 1980 Jorge Orta. Oh, Chicago White Sox on oh, 1980 tops. At least I think it stops. Yep, it is. Oh, there we go. And we got an 81 down Ross there. Paul Mitchell. And ended up with a Ron Davis from the Chicago Cubs. Getting my Cubs love, as always. What you think about this? Do you think it's better than repacks wax? Worse? About the same? Let me know. Since they are out of the baseball ones here, I might get hockey. I might get another repacks wax. Let me know. You guys love watching it. I love opening them. Looks like a foily Ray McDavid from the San Diego Padres. So very nice. We got a gold card there. Oh, that is Jesse Levis. Looks like of Cleveland. Yep, Cleveland Indians. It's a gold card. And you got a 1988 score. Cal Ripken. Nolan Ryan. Find the Nolans. Very nice. I remember collecting these. I always love getting the Nolans. That's the checklist. Oh, that's a nice little insert. Andre the Hawk Dawson. Very nice. 1983 Dunross. Look at that. Well, at least you got some good cards. Oh, there's a PC hit for retro. Yeah, that's a good old Sweet Lou Whitaker on a 1986 Leaf. Going for the bunt. Gotta love it. Oh, there we go. And get going here. Hey, Eliana Pena. Huh? I will get that sign. I gotta get. I got some Pena cards. I'm ready to go. And whoa! Here we go. 1983 Wade Boggs.
Suggs rookie card. Wow. That is going to be a hit. That is for sure. That's a nice little gem right there. It's all centered, but the corners are good. So we will take that. Wow. Very nice. Getting the Wade Boggs rookie card on a repacks. Classic Swax. Oh, that's a good hit. We'll take it. Like I said, it's off-centered, but hey, you're not going to deny a card like that. That's for sure. Oh, I know the Roy Smalley from 1981 Fleer. Gotta love it. There we go. Man, these first cards always seem to stick. I just don't... I, I just... Ugh. Come on. Come on. There we go. That's just a 1982 Flare Bit Burns, too. <laughs> Up next, 1978, Bill Russell for the Dodgers. That one's in good shape, actually. So, very nice. Oh. Hey, keep going here. Oops, something stuck there. Let me make sure. Eddie Murray, opening day. Can't forget Eddie Murray. Great player. Up next, 1975, Will McEnery, all the Sin City Reds. It's off-centered, but the corners are actually pretty decent. Yeah, it's just off-centered. Not going to get a 9 or 10 out of that, but it's good for an album. That is for sure. And 84 Fleer, Lamar Hoy. And up next, got 1970 of uh, ERA leaders of Juan Marshall, Steve Carlton, and Bob Gibson. So that's a very nice card. Bottom corners are a little dinged, but what are you going to do? you got to take it. Oh, uh, there's Rico Barone out of the Tigers. Remember him? I think that's my second Rudy May card. Duke Schneider, those 1985 weird old ones. We'll look those up. We got a, few, we got a minor league card there. Orlando Marsad. Like I said, not a big fan of those minor league cards. They were in the hockey ones too, but ended up with a Ted Simmons from 1983 Dunross. Oh, trying to go as fast as I can here. Uh, so the video ain't super long. Glenn Allen Hill. Oh, Ron Davis with the Cubs. Bud Harrelson, 1980. Tops. That's from the Philadelphia Phillies. So I'll take that. Hey, very nice. Get my rhino love on a 1985 Tops. There's another PC hit for Retro Robbie. Gotta love Rhino. Got to see him in person. It was great. Great guy. Just love it. So very nice. We'll take that. Uh, nice. Got Barry Lark in there. So. It was Mike Schmidt. And it's Mike Schmidt. Who's Mike Schmidt? Bro, have some respect here, man. What are you talking about? I don't know who Mike Schmidt is. You've never heard of Mike Schmidt. Right, look at that. He has that bat ready to crush you over the head and beat you up because he is the Chuck Norris of baseball. Mike Schmidt. You got to love it. Come on. Don't have that one, so that's going in my PC set. That's for sure. Never get enough Mike Schmidt. Come on. And get some stars here. Eddie Murray, Kirby Puck, and 87 tops. Oh, very nice. Oh, decent pack here. I will take it. And you're going to end it up with a Hubie. Oh, no, there's something else there. Uh, Otis next in there. Oh, the Braves. Can't forget Otis. Oh, here we go. Come on. My life is now complete. This episode's complete. You got a Mike Schmidt. You got a 59. You got a Rhino. Come on. You got to love it. You guys know you do. And look at that. 1970 Alan Foster from the LA Dodgers. And that one's in pretty good shape. A little loose corner there. 369. It's a mid-series. So we will take that. There's JV. Larry Herndon of the Tigers. There's 84. Terry Harper. Very nice. 1976 of Steve Carlton. Wow, that's in good shape, too. It's a little printing issue there, but it's not the fault of the person or the card. It's just the way it is. But Steve Carlton on a 76. You can't go wrong. I don't know. Where are these suckers sold out, man? I'm saying I want more now. <laughs> These are pretty decent. So 
George Frazier, 82 taps. So, there's Joe Morgan. We're going to get 1978, Bill Atkinson of the Montreal Expos. So, there we go, number 43. And up next, look at that, we're going to get 1979, Reggie Jackson. Very nice, off-centered, but what are you going to do? It's Reggie. I got quite a few of these Reggies, so probably be giving that away soon, too. So if you like these cards, you like my channel, subscribe to my channel. I'll give some of these away. That's for sure. That's what I do. And it's Hall of Fames of John McGraw. I think those are 83 Dunrosses. Oh, it looks like we're almost halfway done. Only one card from the 50s. None from the 60s. Couple from 1970. So Dickie Thorne. Just got that card recently, too. Might have to get him signed if he is or live. And there's Juan Gonzalez, that insert card. And it looks like it. I'm getting insert. So you're getting some inserts in here. Hey, there we go. There's Bill Mad Dog Madlock on the Chicago Cubs. 1976. Look at that. Look at that smile. Yeah, I'm young. I'm going to be going for the NL batting title like two or three times because I'm that good of a hitter. Bill Mad Dog Madlock, so underrated. Very nice card. We'll take that. A 76. There's a 1983 Harold Baines. Cannot go wrong with that. Just got him signed. So there's an 82. Oh, what do we got here? Yeah, got the rookies. Mike Hartley. Uh, opening days. Good mixture in here, I think. Tell me you guys' thoughts on this. You like this better than Repax Wax? Classic Wax is going to be the new one. Oh, where's Rob Deere? Paul Molitor and 82 Fleer. There's uh, Mike Piazza. A rookie card on 82 Ultra. And you can end up with Rob Perez. Oh, the Blue Jays. So getting down there. Get some good little hits here. That is for sure. Oh. I'm loving it. Man, yeah, this first one's always thick. It's just a Frank Williams from 86. Jeez. Oh, they Berger. Oh, good signing stuff, too, man. I see some future stuff to get signed. Up next, we got 1970 tops of Bob Johnson from the Oakland A's. Very nice card, and that is in good condition, too. So, that's a high number. So, that one's going to have a little value to that one. That's for sure. Set that aside. I bet you that's going to have a little value. As you know, I will show the prices on these as I always do for you guys so you get a good reference of what they're worth. If I got my money was worth. Tom Gordon, score rookie. Uh, you know what would make this better? Another Mike Schmidt hit. You know, you know what I'm saying? Ron Davis on 1980 tops and ended up with our Brewers card of Larry Hissel. All right, here we go. Steve Sack starts it off in the 87. There's baseball's best. Ricky Henderson. I think those were uh, one of those subsets. Don Manny. Here we go. Oh, yeah, very nice. 1970 Roy White and wow that is in decent shape actually I you know I, oh, there's a couple corner dings but you know I'm not the Yankees fan but I always loved Roy White I don't know why I just always appreciated him such a good player for the Yankees underappreciated under love great guy up next 79 Steve Kemp of the Tigers so we'll take that uh, Earl Weaver there's the Goose. Goose Gossage on a 76. Playing for those White Sox. Oh, there we go. There's the bag. 1976. We'll take it. Steve Avery. Rated rookie card on 1990 Dunruss. Oh, another decent player there. Ken Gearhart. Oh, Dickie Knowles on an 82. Jerry Remy on a 1977 for the California Angels. So very nice. Another one from the 70s. Oh. Here we go. Yeah, we're going to get a Reggie Smith in action from 82. 
And getting these award winners here from those subsets, I think I have actually the set of this. Uh, you can always buy them like for five bucks back in the day. Oh, uh, right, the boys, oh, the Tigers. Bob Apodaca from the New York Mets on a 1979. He was on the disabled list, but he got a card. What do you do? Oh man, look at King Griffey Sr. Look at him all smiling. Look at that, because he was playing for the Big Red Machine back in the 70s, man. Eh, not the best shaped card, but we will take it. Up next, we got the kid. Another hit for my PC collection. Ken Griffey Jr., the kid. Out of 1991 Fleer, so add that to my stash there. Up next, after that, we got 1970 George Scott from the Boston Red Sox. He was a decent player, and that is a good, decent card, too. 385. Man, I'm not even seeing a good blemish on it. Well, that corner's slightly dinged, but we'll take it. Up next, we get some Cubs love out of 1958. That's John Grohl, so very nice. 1958, our second hit from the 50s. So at least we're going to get two cards out of here. A little miscut. It's in actually decent shape as well, just off-centered. Get my Cubs love on a 58. What are you going to do? You're going to love that. That's what you're going to do. Oh, there's Devon White. There's Hal McRae on a 77 tops. Oh, there's the back. Very nice. Oh, Kevin Bass and Rick Aguilera from the Mets on an 87 Dunruss. Rounded it off. We got six more packs here. So, like I said, trying to go through this fast. I babble too much, too, sometimes. But I'm oh, having fun. So, there's a the candy man for the Tigers. Oh, and I think that's a gold card. Yep, it is. Steve Stacks, all the White Sox on a gold card. So, get some gold card love. You know I love my gold cards from the mid-90s. <laughs> that is for sure. It's the Knuckle Brothers. 1986 Leaf. You know, that's uh, that's Bob and Phil. Uh, Phil and Joe, sorry. Phil and Joe. Oh, man, Negroes. Oh, very nice. Gotta love the Negroes. And Kevin Mitchell there. Ellis Valentin. Joe Ferguson. Yeah, we're gonna get the man a lot of 70s in this box. So if you're a 70s fan, this box is for you. We got Bob Barton of oh, San Diego Padres. And there we go. 352. And again, that is in decent shape. Oh, 70s are kind of condition sensitive. That one corner is a little bad. But there's Bob Barton of oh, San Diego Padres. Oh, those 83s. Roberto Alomar. That's going to be his rookie card. Come on. You got to love it. Fred McGriff. That's going to be the Traded Series. Yeah, I remember those. I think I got a bunch of those. Fred McGriff rookie card as well. Even though they produce so much. John Orlude. Again, man, this is the Traded Rookies. That's for sure. Eddie Matthews. Jack Morris of the Tigers on 86. I'm going to end up with the Brewers again. Lots of Brewers. of Charlie Moore on 84 tops. Oh. I, I'm actually liking this. I Man, I think I like this better than Repax Wax. Uh, tell me what you think. I, I'm digging this. I've gotten some good uh, hits, personal-wise and uh, for real. Kevin Mitchell's going to be a top traded, I can tell. Yep. I get Kevin, May, Kevin Mitchell. He wasn't a bad player either. Jose Salou on another 1970. Man, we're getting the 70s cards. 248, man, and I'm helping my 70s collection out big time, so very nice. Hi, hey, Zeus Alou for the Astros and getting a lot of those 85 TMCAs, that's for sure. Oh, Kevin Chapman. There's a 1975 Louis Modellas. Oh, the St. Louis Cardinals. That's a pretty good ape, actually. Yeah, for 75s, which are condition sensitive, that one's in pretty good shape. Oh, we got a Felix Fernandez. Felix Fernandez, sorry. Opening day. Uh, another Ted Simmons. Getting some Ted Simmons. I've said to see if he signs. Probably a fee with him now that he's a Hall of Famer. Maybe get one of these signed. That'd be kind of cool. There's Carlton Fisk. Uh, there's Derek Jeter. 19... 94, 95, 
I don't know. I'm, I'm familiar with his tops card, but not his score as much. 96. Oh, that might have a little value. Derek Jeter's always holds their values, that's for sure. Starstruck. Oh, put that in here. That might be have some value. I'll show the price in that, as you know. That looks like Mitch Williams, and it is. From the San Francisco Giants. And Rick Sutcliffe. Wayne Mazzarelli. And we're going to end it up with a Keith Miller from the Mets. That's a 1990 Donruss. So... Getting down the last couple packs here. Let me know what you think. You think you're enjoying this? I am. Johnny Grubb, 1979 Tops. Come on. Gotta love Johnny Grubb. I've got his autograph, so very nice. Another Hal McGray. Let's see if Hal McGray signs, man. We get maybe one of these 77 signed. We're getting a lot of Hal McGrays from 1977. Oh, uh, that's probably the only bad thing. You're starting to see doubles and I oh, don't know. There's a lot of cards out there. You think you would not double it up, but hey, I'm sure that it just gets all shuffled up and there's great fun and put it into a packs and sealed up and sent away for me to view and to show you guys. Uh, yeah, I'm getting another 1970, man. This is the 1970 pack, so that is for sure. I'll raise that up a little bit so you make sure you see all the cards. So there's Darian Johnson of the Philadelphia Phillies. Yeah, that's 125, so lower number one, but we'll still take it. And I'm building my 70s set like no one's business with this. Up next, got 1976 Rod Carew. We will take that all day long. Very nice. A little quarter damage, but I know I have this card, so that might go to a winner. Oh, uh, Chuck Knobloch. There's the Bash Brothers right there. Mark McGuire, Jose Canseco, that beautiful 1988 tops, league leaders. Uh, last three packs. Let's get rid of the box. You don't want the box. You want the packs. Let me s bring this up here and go like that. There we go. Make sure you see all the goodness that you know. Gotta feature the cars. No one cares about me. They just care about Mike Schmitz and 1958s and 59s. That's what they care about. I'm just the vessel that brings it to you. <laughs> yeah, you know it. And here we go. An 82, Bruce Benedict. And keep going here. There's Don Ossie from the California Angels out of 1980. Uh, you see a lot of theme here. You get a lot of 80s. I think I've seen no 81s, but lots of 82s. There's Ricky Henderson. And we're going to get the kid again. Um, ugly Big Bird yellow cards from 91 Fleer. There he is. <laughs> I'm going to get a whole bunch of Griffies. It's going to be on these ugly 91s. What are you going to do? Yeah, there's MVP. Andre the Hog Dawson for the Cubs. And yeah, we're going to get another 1958. This one of Carlton Wiley of the Milwaukee Braves. And yeah, that one's in decent shape. A little cornered issues, but 407. We will take that. Very nice. Add that to my 50s love. Not going to cover up the Cubs, that's for sure. Goose Gossage on a 78 tops. Come on, got to love it. Oh, that Cubs love there. Look at that Cubs, Lance Dixon, George Frazier, and ended up with the Milwaukee Brewers. Every end card must be in the Brewers. <laughs> this time with Jim Gatner on 83 Donruss. Come on. Every card I see, like the end card is the Brewers. Oh, yeah, if you're a Brewers fan, you're probably loving this. There's Charlie Geringer. That's on the Tigers. Oh, 83 John Tudor. Fern! No, it is what it is. You know, Smokey from uh, 1987 Tops. Come on, you gotta love that. You know that old senior smoke. Up next, we're gonna get our first 60s car. It took towards the end, but we got a 1969 Duke Sims of oh, the Cleveland Indians. Uh, 414. It looks like it's in good condition. Yeah, that corner's a little rough, but. And it's all centered, but it's a 1969, our first from the 60s. So we'll take it. Oh, 
There's Robin Young. Another offsetter, Robin Young. From the 81 Don, Don Ross. So, we'll take it. Bake McBride from 1980 Tops from the Philadelphia Phillies. Oh, yeah, I seem to go on little mini runs here. Nope. 89 there. And then 86, 89, upper deck. Steve Comer of the, uh, or the Rangers on an 83 Dunruss. And last card is going to be Brewers. No, it's Mark Witten of the Blue Jays. You know, as soon as I say it's going to be a Brewers in every last card, and it isn't. Last pack. Let me know what you think. I think we did pretty good here. I'll show the highlights, as you know. Um, I'm putting all these over here. They should be over here. There we go. Oh, let me know what you think. Here's the last pack. Get some good juju. But I think overall we did pretty darn good. What do you guys think? So, and we're going to start it off with a very foily card there of Paul Sorrento. And that's a metal card from, uh, oh, is it 97? Looks like 97. They those metal cards in the late 90s. Uh, yep, 97. I remember those. Brett Saberhagen from the Royals. We got 1975 Jim York from the Houston Astros. And I tell you what, these 75s are not in bad shape. They could come a lot worse, as you know. Well, 383. We got Lou Brock from 1978. That was a little rougher condition. Those corners are pretty bad, but still Lou Brock, 1978. Paul Malter, <laughs> 1981 Dunruss. <laughs> Tell you what, I get a lot of Malters and Young from 81s. Uh, Willie Ankins, 1984. Tops. Yep, Tops traded, actually. T1, get the T1. Uh, Matt Morello, David Wells. Those icky 91 studio cards of Ray Langford. Juan Berenger, all the twins. That's probably a traded card because he played. Yep, there we go. Tigers and then Giants. And then for the Minnesota Twins, Brooks Jacoby. I got to get him signed. So I got to get some Brook cards uh, gathered up here. I, I, I think he signs. So we'll get that signed. Paul Mitchell. Not the hair care products, but this Paul Mitchell from the Mariners. 1979. There it is. And we got Solo Martinez of oh, the St. Louis Cardinals in 1980. And Randy Johnson. Not that Randy Johnson. The Randy Johnson was an outfielder for the Twins. And we're going to end up on a leaf card of Charlie Hayes. So let me know what you thought. I, you know, I, you know, it wasn't too bad. That's the stack of vintage. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's what I count of vintage. Anything 80 or older. I mean, 82s aren't bad. Um, I thought my stack for hockey was bigger than the vintage. Um, but let me know what you thought. There's, I mean, there's decent players here. That's for sure. Got the 69. Got the Rock Crew. A lot of 70s. I'm actually digging that because 70s are hard to get. I'll be the first to admit. I do love my 70s. Love that Roy White. Always a big Roy White fan. There's a Reggie Jackson. I'm just kind of going through here. You know, you'll see the prices and all these. There's a Nolan Ryan. Hey, Conception. Oh. Let's look through the bottom here. You know, my favorites are on the bottom. So there's my PC collection. We've got Ryan Sandberg. Got a little bit of Rhinos. Two Ken Griffey's for the price of one. Get in the ugly big bird yellow, but hey, we'll take it. And we got my sweet Lou Whitaker there in 1986 Leaf. And we're gonna get some. What's that? Oh, nice, nice Bob Johnson high number two, 693. So that will have a little value. Um, let's see, what am I want to show here? Man, what do I want to do next? We'll do the Wade Boggs. That's gonna be your big hit, I bet. Maybe one of the other ones. We'll see. But I'm calling it the Wade Boggs. It's off centered, but what are you gonna do? It is Wade Boggs, a rookie card, so I can't go wrong with that. I love the 83's design. I get the trifecta rookies, and that's one of them right there. Wade Boggs. And you get Mike Schmidt! Come on! You gotta love the Mike Schmidt. On a 1984 Rax Packs that came out of, so look at him. He's all ready to go. Ready to bash some more home runs, and then afterwards, smash you over the head with that bat, because he can't, because he's 
Mike Schmidt. Come on, you gotta love that. Add that to my collection, as you know. And we're gonna go through the eight or fifties. So got the nice fifty-six Ruben tomorrow from the Philadelphia Phillies. Very nice. And we got two from fifty-eight. We got that Carlton Willie from the Milwaukee Braves. And John Gorl from the Chicago Cubs. I didn't know my Cubs love. It's off-centered, but you know what? I don't have that card, so that's going right to my collection. So that is it. Tell me your thoughts on this. You like this better than, uh, you know, Repack Swags? We got classic swags here. So, you know, tell me your thoughts. Um, I, I liked it. I enjoyed this. I love opening this kind of stuff. It just, it, it it's so fun and Love having fun with you guys with it. Oh. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts on this. I will try to buy another box or two. Um, I, like I said, the baseball sold out. So I'm assuming once word got out about this product, which I can see why, um, you know, it, it probably sold out very, very quickly. It'll be interesting to see what the second second series will look like if they kind of do like repacks wax that goes downhill from there or they keep showing out good products like this because the getaway box rookie card and these repax wax or the classic wax um you know get the mike schmidt three from the 50s which i have to look in back of my even if i got that but there was a ton and ton of 1970s there so i mean I do love that, and they're all in pretty good shape. They're not destroyed like some of the other ones. Actually, you can, you know, those things are, you keep them in an album, and and you would not be disappointed in having this card. That's for sure. That's what it's about, you know. Are you proud of that card? I'm proud of these cards. I For sure I am. So thank you for watching. If you like what I'm doing, leave a comment. Subscribe to my channel. It's growing. I want to get some of these cards away. I'm getting close to 300, and we'll give away 300 cards all from these episodes here. And I throw vintage in there. Just as my winners, I do throw vintage in there. So look out for that. I got other stuff coming this way. I got a top 10 list coming up for you guys. I got some, uh, I think I got some Universal Treasures coming in. And hopefully my, my, uh, <laughs> my mystery packs start to roll back in. Got a little lag there. But hey, what are you going to do? Thank you for watching Retro Robbie saying, collect what you love.